Hello. I will show you how to upload a large database from your website without uploading it by using PHP My Admin or Shell. First, open the File Manager and open Public HTML. Then, I will upload our tiny PHP script. Select File, Big Dump. Here, extract the zip file to run the file. Then we will open the PHP file by browsing it, to see what it needs, for more clarification. Type the link. You see, there is no database connected with the tiny script. Here we see. You can see that no username and no database and no password. I am showing you this to make you learn how to connect the database. Then, we will go to MySQL database wizard and add new database and write the name of the database and add the username and also the password. Here, I am typing the username, then the password. Let me get strong password. You have to give all the privileges for the user on the selected database. So, this user have all the access needs to make our tiny script work well. Let's copy the username and password and the database information somewhere here. So, we can get back and edit our script to use this information. Now, the username has all the access for the database. Great. This is the username and this is the database that we are going to use. Then, open our tiny script big dump from here. Go to this line, number 42 and add the username and the database name. Do not mix them, it will not work. Go to where you saved the password. Then, add the password here. Then, let's save the changes. End speech. Wait until the changes will be saved. Here up, open the browser and check the big dump. Refresh. You can see the format of the files GZ and SQL that can be uploaded. This what will show you, when you have your database files. Now, we can start import. Click import and wait. It is showing you the size of the database and other information. Ok, now it's done. This is what it shows when the importing done successfully. We need to be sure more. From the C panel. Go to it. Let's check our database. Is it uploaded? Open PHP My Admin. Check the database. You can see all the tables are in front of you. Up and down I see all the tables are there. Let's see the size. It is 28 megabytes. That's good. Everything works perfectly here. Thank you for watching.